This video is all about comparing Void Strap versus Frost Strap and finding out which one gives you more FPS in Roblox after the recent patch. Before doing these tweaks, my game was lagging and dropping frames, but after applying all the optimizations, Roblox started running much smoother with a big FPS boost. So make sure you watch till the end to get the best performance possible. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like to support the channel. Guys, before we dive into the settings of both Void Strap and Frost Strap, let's start with a crucial Windows optimization step to make sure Roblox runs as smoothly and lag free as possible after the latest patch. Open your Windows search bar and type services. From the results, select and open the services app. This window lists all background processes running on your PC, and many of them quietly consume resources without providing any real gaming benefit. By disabling a few unnecessary services, you can free up system memory, reduce background bandwidth usage, and noticeably boost your FPS and network stability in Roblox. First, find the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This service transfers files in the background using your idle internet bandwidth, which can slow down your connection while gaming. To disable it, right-click Background Intelligent Transfer Service, select Properties, and set Startup Type to Disabled. Click Apply, then OK. If it's currently running, click Stop before disabling it. This prevents the service from restarting automatically and frees up valuable bandwidth and RAM. Now find Remote Desktop Service. This service only wastes background resources. Right-click Remote Desktop Service, choose Properties, change Startup Type to Disabled, then hit Apply and OK. Disabling it can slightly reduce CPU usage, improving stability while running Roblox and other performance-heavy games. Now find the Sysmain service. This service is designed to improve app load times by preloading commonly used programs into memory, but in most gaming scenarios, it causes stutters and inconsistent frame pacing, especially on low or mid-end PCs. To disable it, right-click Sysmain, select Properties, change startup type to disabled, and if it's running, click stop before applying your changes. This often results in smoother frame delivery and faster game loading. Once you've disabled these three services, your PC will have fewer background tasks competing for resources. This optimization alone can make a real difference, especially when paired with fine-tuned void strap or frost strap configurations. Now guys, it's time to download the void strap versus frost strap FP's boost pack. You can grab it easily with one click, the link is in the description. Once you've downloaded it, open the folder and let's start with frost strap. If you don't already have it installed, go ahead and install it first, then open it. When frost strap opens, go to the integrations tab. Turn on Enable Activity Tracking so Froststrap can monitor how Roblox performs on your PC and automatically apply small optimizations in the background. Then turn on Query Server Location to see which Roblox server you're connected to and whether your ping is high or low. Next, enable Playtime Counter to help manage memory usage better during long play sessions. Finally, turn on the Game History menu so you can quickly rejoin your recently played games directly from Froststrap without needing to open Roblox manually. Now move to the Bootstrapper tab. This section is important because it helps clean unnecessary files, allowing Roblox to load faster and run smoothly. Set the file deletion schedule to after two months so your system stays clean automatically without removing useful data too soon. Turn on cache removal to delete leftover Roblox cache files that can slow performance. Enable logs, move to transfer old log files out of the main folder, freeing up some space. 
Lastly, turn on frost strap logs, which automatically removes extra launcher logs and ensures Roblox starts faster every time. Next, open the mods tab. Here you can control small visual details without affecting FPS. Turn off use old avatar editor background since the ham is the new one is lighter and smoother. Disable emulate old character minds because older sounds can sometimes cause lag. Keep your mouse cursor set to default as custom cursors can slightly impact performance. Also, make sure preferred emoji type is set to default emoji, which is the most optimized option and uses the least memory. Now comes the most important part, the fast flag settings. Set anti-aliasing quality, RMA, to 2x for smoother edges while keeping good FPS. Turn on pause weather to stop effects like rain or fog, which can cause small lag spikes. Enable gray sky to replace complex sky textures with a simpler one that gives a nice FPS boost. Turn on disable grass to remove grass effects that reduce performance on low-end PCs. Enable low poly meshes so objects appear simpler, providing a big FPS increase in large games. Finally, set the rendering mode to Vulcan, which gives smoother gameplay and better frame times on most systems. Lastly, open the Appearance tab to adjust how Frostrap looks. Set the app theme to dark, it looks clean, and slightly reduces GPU usage. Choose Mica for the window backdrop to get a smooth Windows 11 style appearance without affecting performance. Keep the custom app font as the default unless you want to personalize it and make sure the language is set to English, United States for full compatibility with Roblox and Frostrap features. Now open the Fast Flags Editor tab, click Add New. Then open your FPS Boost Pack folder, find the Fast Flags text file, copy everything inside, and paste it into Frostrap. Click OK to save the settings. That's all for Frostrap setup, now let's move on to Voidstrap. Open the Voidstrap folder, install it if you haven't already, and launch it. Once it's open, go straight to the Settings tab. Under Integrations, you'll see options like Player Message Logs and others similar to Blockstrap or Froststrap. These features are mostly optional and don't directly affect FPS, so you can leave them as they are. Next, go to the Deployment tab. This section includes advanced tools like multi-instance launching and cross-game teleportation. Multi-instance launching allows you to run multiple Roblox sessions at once, and compared to Blockstrap, Voidstrap handles this much better, offering smoother transitions and fewer crashes. Cross-game teleportation is another powerful feature that lets you jump between Roblox games directly, and while it's still being refined, it's a promising addition for future updates. Then move to the Modifications tab. The layout looks familiar if you've used Frostrap before. Here you'll find options like Mods folder, old Roblox sounds, and various visual and audio tweaks. These are great if you want to customize Roblox while keeping stable performance. After that, open the Fast Flag Editor, which is the most powerful section of Voidstrap. You'll notice tools like Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag. These make it easy to manage, edit, and save your Fast Flag setups. You'll also see a profile feature that lets you save different configurations so you can test multiple FPS setups without losing your older ones. To import your Fast Flags, click Import JSON, open your downloaded folder, copy the flag data you want, paste it into Voidstrap, and click Save. These flags are what tell Roblox to unlock frame rates, optimize GPU and CPU usage, and make gameplay smoother overall. Lastly, Voidstrap includes an Appearance tab and a Shortcuts tab similar to Frostrap. 
but it also has one standout feature, an AI chat assistant. It's still in beta, but it will soon allow you to ask questions about flags, performance settings, and optimization directly inside the launcher. Both launchers have their strengths, but with these optimizations and the right fast flag setup, you'll see a big FPS boost and smoother gameplay in Roblox, especially after the latest patch. Now guys, if you've been struggling with lag, stutters, or high ping in your Roblox games, the Gear Up Booster is one of the best solutions out there. Here's how to use it. To fix high ping and stabilize your network connection in Roblox, we'll be using Gear Up Booster. First, download the tool from the official website. The link is in the description. Once downloaded, install it and open the app. You'll be asked to log in using your Google or Facebook account. Go ahead and sign in to unlock full access. Once you're in, head to the Home tab. If Roblox is already listed there, perfect. If not, go to the Games tab, search for Roblox and add it manually. Now return to the Home tab and click on Roblox, then hit the Boost button. Gear Up Booster will now optimize your game settings and begin scanning for the best server. Next, it will ask you to select a server region. Always choose the one closest to your physical location. For me, Middle East servers work best, but that may vary for you. If you're unsure which one to pick, just select Auto and Gear Up will handle it for you. After selecting the server, a window will open, showing even more servers in your selected region. This is the Not tab, where you can manually switch servers if needed, or stick with automatic mode for consistent ping performance. Finally, close the window and launch Roblox directly from Gear Up Booster. This will apply all your settings and keep your connection optimized throughout your game. If done correctly, you should notice lower ping, fewer spikes, and a much smoother experience in Roblox. Now guys, before we move further, there's one more important step to make sure Roblox runs with maximum performance. Disabling background applications using Group Policy Editor. Here's how to do it. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run box. Type gpedit.msc and press Enter to open the local Group Policy Editor. Once it opens, Follow this exact path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy. On the right side, look for the option called Let Windows Apps run in the background. Double click on it to open the settings window. By default, it's set to not configured, which allows apps to run freely in the background. Change it to enabled and under the options below, Set the drop-down menu to Force Deny. Click Apply, then OK. After applying the change, restart your computer so the new policy takes effect. Once done, you'll notice faster startup times, reduced background activity, and smoother performance overall, especially when combined with the Roblox optimizations from Frost Strap or Void Strap. That's all for today's video, guys. If this guide helped you get more FPS in Roblox, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.